I'm recording this video, but I don't actually know if I can upload it to Patreon. So that could be a problem, but we'll <laughs> just finish it. If it doesn't work, then maybe I'll upload it to YouTube or something. Upload it to YouTube, then link it in my Patreon. I don't know. But I'm going to do a quick sketchbook tour. I think I've shared most of these drawings, but not all at once like this. Um, this is a Stillman and Burn Delta series sketchbook. It's super thick paper, um, really hardy pages, um, almost like cardstock. Uh, you can put a lot of medium on there and it won't bleed through onto the other side, which is great because I tend to do that sometimes. Uh, most of these drawings were done in September of 2020. I decided I'd take a month to study one of my favorite artists, Carl Kopinski. But there's a couple other random things in here, um, a couple drawings from beforehand. I think I had just started getting like some fountain pens and new inks that I was trying in here. Um, yeah. Also, I don't know if anybody else does this. I don't really like putting stickers on things, except for my sketchbooks. I love putting stickers on my sketchbooks. Um, so that's uh, a little sticker from Crimson Lotus Tea company in Seattle, and then that's a stamp I made of my cat. But anyways, let's get going. Um, yeah, this is kind of like my tester page. I just like try out ink and fountain pens on here. Usually first page of a sketchbook is kind of that matter, just random doodling goofy stuff. Um, and then I think this was done probably really early on when I got this book, and then I set it down afterwards. I think this is probably inspired by Aaron Horky. Really like him. I'll uh, link his uh, Instagram or something in the post. But uh, Aaron Horky's really good. But I wanted to just kind of mess around with this new fountain pen I got. It was the. Uh... Boy, now I'm not gonna be able to find it. You can see it in there. This one. It's a vintage, like, 1971 Parker pen that I got for $20. Um, it's really awesome. It's got a hooded nib, a bladder. This is one of the first big drawings I did with it. Um, <clears throat> for whatever reason, I, like, struggle sometimes with this pen. It'll, like, twist, and then it doesn't write as well. But if it's, like, vertical, it will. Um, it's a little dried out right now, but... It's a really nice pen. It's good for writing and occasional doodling, but I don't really use it for drawing that much just because it's not as functional as some of the other ones are. Um, but it's really nice. It's a fun, fun pen to have in a collection. Um, but then everything else in here is pretty much either like a thumbnail or a rough sketch or primarily a Karl Kopinski study. My goal with this book was to uh, both do like copies of his work, but then also kind of put my own spit on it. So a lot of them I would like draw what he drew and then I draw another one where in my mind I rotated it like 45 degrees or tried to draw the character from the back whatever um, so that's pretty much I think just a copy of something he had done um, and then a little bit more stylized like I put the smoke in there and the blush I think I also was trying out a bunch of art supplies on this page um, this is also very early this is probably early in 2020 because I did this comic project in 2019 did not finish it but whatever <laughs> um, it's a little self-portrait here's some character breakdowns um, I think for this one I this is his image but then I did the construction lines to figure out how he had built the perspective um, some of my earliest perspective figures I think right there so that's pretty cool it's uh, Elrond very stylized version of what Carl had done. Trying out art supplies. Trying out art supplies. <laughs> this is a makeup brush with that red ink on it. Okay, here's another one. Uh, this is uh, pretty similar to Carl Kapitsky's, but I threw some more color on it. And then I rotated it two ways. So I tried to draw it from like a front view, imagine what it would look like, draw it from behind. And I had no reference to figure out what these things would look like. So it was kind of, it's kind of fun because it gives you a little bit of information to work with, but then your brain kind of has to just fill in the rest. Um, that's pretty fun. 
I don't know why this is here. I think maybe I like messed something up really badly or spilled ink, so I just tore out a piece and pasted it on and looks good. Here's a bunch of rats. I actually did these for a, a competition, Unreal Burnament, run by Bjorn Hurry. I'm gonna link him as well. Um, that's actually coming up again soon if it's happening this year. But the prompt was uh, basically like a dark fairy tale kind of thing. I wanted to do something about the Pied Piper. I ended up doing a sculpture, but these are good studies nonetheless. Pretty cute. Some more thumbnails for that thing. Um, no anatomy had been studied at this point, and I always know that because my faces before I studied the head were all very vertical. There's no um, depth changes at all in the face. <laughs> it's okay. See? <laughs> uh, more Carl. Trying to construct it with boxes and whatnot. Be smart. Some Donald Trump drawings. This is not a Carl thing. This was kind of just a sketch. I think I um, just had a couple of things on my desk and I tried to create something. It reminds me of Bruce Willis in the movie Invincible. And I think I did another, oh, I think I tore it out actually. There was another one that was kind of similar to this, but I tore it out if someone wanted it or something. Carl, Carl. That's uh, Uncle Iroh. <laughs> That's a study for uh, a big thing I did for my uncle last year. It's my van, at least the ideal van with the slam to the ground, you know. Maybe one day I'll achieve that goal. More thumbnails for that thing I just mentioned for my uncle. Oh, there he is. There's the other one. Um, this is a Carl study as well. I really like the way he uses ink wash. So I was trying to, trying to capture that. These are pretty cool. I didn't really use any pencil for them. I just went straight in with ink, which developed a lot of confidence. It's Carl as well. I need to do some more weapon designs. I always just like, I like stutter when I start to draw weapons. I don't know why I suck at them so much, but specifically like swords are just rough for me. That's a Carl, just direct to ink, no pencil, um, pretty much just a copy of what he had done. Really good practice. Same thing there. A um, little bit of pencil underneath, I think, on that one. but uh, This as well, just a direct copy, but I uh, put my own colors on this one, so there's no colors in the original. Uh, this is a Mr. Freeze drawing. His is from like this angle, three quarters, so he's looking into the camera on Carl's version. And so this one I tried to rotate it in my mind and draw it. Um, a really good exercise. I want to do more of it. Because um, it's kind of cool. It, like You're not directly copying, but you're still taking cues from their style and the way they chose to render things but you're having to recreate it in your own brain and make a lot of choices for yourself as well, which kind of um, cements a lot of the information into your head. I don't know if this was, this one I think is kind of a straight on view of Carl's. It looks like I have like a blue pencil underlay on that one. I did a yellow pencil underlay on this one. Um, I'm not sure exactly though. I could have, this could have been a rotation as well. That's a study of Carl's watercolor. Here's a soldier he did. My own colors on there. Kind of uh, crazy colors. I was using mostly markers for these. Various alcohol and water-based markers. Um, but yeah, I, this like kind of subject matter is one of my favorite things. Just like weird, um, not era specific type of soldiers like it looks like a world war one soldier but he's also like very like sci-fi with these bits of armor huge backpack like i love that kind of thing so this one okay so this is carl's uh orientation that i just copied i put a little bit of ink wash on actually i think i just hit it with water so it's like a blue pen in like a lamy that's what i did for most of these lamy fountain pen um, with the blue ink and then I just hit it with some water and pulled it before it dried to get some wash. A lot of times Carl will do that with like a 
a water brush pen and like a uh, regular brush pen and he'll hold them in both hands. I didn't do that, I just went back and forth. But now I think I could actually try that because I spent a month drawing left-handed. And then on the next page, I tried to rotate that same character, same pose, like 90 degrees, maybe a little bit less than 90 degrees, 75 degrees. And again, that's just a really good exercise. It really flexes the muscles in your brain, cements a lot of the information, you know. And I put my own colors on that one as well. These are some heads from Carl, except for that one, that's me. Carl bat suit. Um, this is probably my least favorite one in here. Something I didn't ever really consider is like compositionally, when you rotate it, you should find another angle that makes sense. So I think this is a 90 degree rotation, so his comes this direction. But I would rotated it, it's this girl on a hover bike, rotated it 90 degrees and did a front on angle, but a lot of the information is obscured from that angle. Motorcycles don't look that good straight on, so I should have done a little bit more of like a three quarters kind of thing. Uh, that's a Carl copy. I did like a pretty detailed pencil rendering before I added the ink. Um, it looks messier, but the information is like pretty clean, I think. Like it, the proportions and everything are a little bit better. So, um, And then this was uh, just out of my imagination after spending three or four weeks drawing Carl stuff. I felt a lot more confident trying something like this from my imagination. I should have probably done more of these in between. Um, and then I could have seen a progression. But Carl. I don't remember what uh, the name of that cat is. Uh, that's Carl as well. But then I think I tried to rotate it maybe and do like a different angle, a different character. I'm not sure. I need to get into drawing more motorcycles because they're really cool. And I think that's everything. So yeah, I filled this in like a month. Felt pretty good. I'm gonna go for 15 sketchbooks this year. That's how many I wanna fill. I'm just gonna have to keep drawing every day like I am now, but I think I probably did like eight sketchbooks last year. I spent a lot of time drawing on big sheets of paper, so I couldn't really fill sketchbooks. If I put those pieces of paper into a book, it would totally do it, but yeah. This one was nice because it had a very clear purpose and function and it was really easy to just sit down every night and find another piece of artwork by Carl I liked and then just kind of tackle it. So I will link uh, Carl Kapinski's Instagram, Aaron Horky's Instagram, and I forgot who the last person was, but I will look at the video and figure it out. Okay, thanks for watching.